Yeah, Quasi's it's he's wild. creating context. He's, he's creating like the, the villains of oh, MGS2. Boy. They're creating okay. context. Speaking of context, Narukami, Ooh. usually in a Buki, bringing Ed and Melbu sticking to that loud. That was a nice meaty stand. Fear setting up that frame trap on the crutch medium punch. Narukami right now in stun situation. That electric fence bringing it in. Melbu keeping up the pressure, but that activation route will end all that momentum for Melbu. That being said, Narukami not really pushing the situation. Still stuck in the corner, but at least out of range of stun. So he won't die off of the next hit. Ooh, getting hit by the raw V trigger too. Unfortunately, combo drops midway through. Turns into the electric fence. The extension though off of the light flicker. Good interruption from Melbu. Not able to fully convert, but Melbu still has a life lead. Has the party started? Unfortunately, gets EX uppercutted for his troubles. Good frame trap there. Corner pressure is now Narukami's side. The electric fence, too close for comfort. Melbu now setting up the electric fence in a good situation. Grabs him right through before the block stun even happens and takes round one. That's a lot of practice, right? She wants to put you to sleep mm. and make you stand still and block so she can get those grips on you. Mm. But now it's Narukami trying to put us to sleep here. Flickers a galore. I like Tracks the B-skill to go through the clap. Yeah, I'm surprised it even made all the way through, but it actually worked. Good good challenge there. I honestly Ooh. like it. If you don't believe that they hit that meaty light elbow, just challenge. Don't let yep. them get that free pressure. Okay, gonna activate. Smack activation off the block. Dash up. Here comes the plus. Command grab again. She doesn't get Oki here, but he's gonna go with the knee. Blocks the overhead. Nice Six block. frame punish. Activation just yet. Narukami wants a good situation for himself. Uh oh. Got caught on the back dash. Melbu sets himself up. Unfortunately, sets himself up to get EX upward. The Oki after the forward dash allows Narukami to take round two. Final round. Okay, Narukami's dead. Looking pretty solid. Got the blocks. Tried to clap, but the Ooh. dash behind the trade too much. And now Melbu's actually in the corner. Yeah, Melbu's not dealing with flicker pressure all too well. They're getting some good calls on back dashes, but actually dealing with that forward <gasps> jab into the uh, flicker has been really rough on their neutral. Yep. Okay, counter poke works. Minus two. That jab working out, but that EX upper has been so clutch for Narukami. Unfortunately, they have not escaped the corner situation, Yo! but the EX upper comes out once again. Melbu has not been able to bait that once this entire set. Uh-uh. Yeah. I love the timing of the EXDP from Narukami, and then the V shift out, knowing he wants to go for the grab. Narukami is finding the rhythm that Melbu wants to play out and exposing it. It's looking good. Yeah. That being said, that's only game one, so, True. you know, that's information for Melbu. Melbu is a seasoned player, has to have had some experience with uh, against not only EX Upper, but also V-Shift. So if Narukami wants to rely on those to take this entire set, he might be running up against a Round really one. deadly opponent that can adjust in this second game. Yep. Nice counter poke there. Has the anti-air ready. Burn some of that meter off of a uh, not unsuccessful V-Shift, but not really super rewarding. Yeah, good uh. backdash timing, though. Out of the command grab. Bust out. Oh, I feel like he almost baited the EX up with that stand light kick, but maybe just wasn't blocking or press the follow-up button. I feel like he dashed right behind. Now, oh, my God. The clap is sure. blown up. Huh? Going to activate. Pop. Extension. Hit. Nice little finish with the jab connector. Narukami looking pretty convincing with the Z. Yeah, it's looking really strong so far. On set point. Back dash just gets caught by the wild sweep. Melbu throwing out not only wild sweeps, but wild overheads and then command grabs. Hey, now we might be throwing our opponent off their base. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. Uh, 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 not going to kill, uh. but the mix is coming. Nah, no mix. DP has to activate. Otherwise, it would be minus four point blank. Just runs up into his face. 
Melvu having so much health right now. Gets pushed into the corner, and with corner pressure is a scary thought indeed, but Melvu has been able to weather it out until this last V skill, or excuse me, V trigger. Yeah, now oh. Narukami's in a great position. Not a lot of reversals. Has the V reversal. Jumps in, stays in front, but he doesn't get the connection. Oh, he didn't use the bar! He should have, now he's in trouble. Oh my god, he tried. He wanted to hit him. He wanted to get him with the ending walker, but it wasn't happening tonight. It wasn't happening. And you know what, Melbu did. Yep. Melbu did press, but he pressed up forward. The one press that wouldn't get hit by the EX upper. <laughs> you gotta give Melbu oh. credit. Huh. Oh, too far away for to punish is, the beach. Is Narukami able to recover from that? The mental fortitude is a big thing right now. He's doing alright so far. It was just one missed expenditure. But his neutral's still been really strong. The reversals have still been, well, not as consistent as game one, at least still hitting enough times to matter. That's a little greedy. Hey, that should do it. Oh no, the electric fence actually doesn't pay off. The bar expenditure would have killed, but Narukami doesn't go for it again. Oh my god. I can't. And finally, Laura gets killed off of a wake up light. Narukami taking it 2-0 in the set. Really solid ed play from Narukami. You know, expecting me expecting to see the Ibuki getting treated to some ed instead. Mm -hmm. I liked a lot of the interrupts uh, during the collapse. He was pressuring, and even though he got hit, that's usually beneficial for you. He's getting the hit trade and able to e either get Oki or damage, which is super important and you're preventing Laura from getting in because that's one of her main tools. Clap, walk forward, deal with the mix-up. And he was preventing that significantly throughout the entire set. Right, so we're going to Yeah, he get... was... Oh, good. Keep talking. He was not stifled at all. Like, that. that is something to applaud him. Like, the, the, the sand light punch into Flicker was going really well. V-Skill came out once. Even though it was blocked, it wasn't really that detrimental. Um, EX Upper at really close range where it was going to go through the uh, you know lightning clap and uh, just hit Melbu right away. Um, a really strong opponent to take out in, first in, in round one, so kudos. Yep.